very excited to have my next guest join us. You don't need any introduction for this one. She did drop a new project last year called Rebecca Black was here. Rebecca Black. Hi. How Thanks are you? for having me. I'm good. I'm good. I really appreciate your time. I, I, I think that as I mentioned, you don't need an introduction, but yet this is kind of a reintroduction in a way mm -hmm. uh, with this new project and now this mini tour that you're doing in the U.S. and, and whatnot. Sure. So first of all, how are you and, and how are, is this tour going? I'm good. I feel really lucky that we were able to do this tour. I mean, obviously, it's a really interesting time to play a show and we just really wanted to put on safe fun shows and I am so stoked that we've been able to do that and this is my first time ever doing headline tours so it's so cool to see see not only people come and like buy tickets <laughs> but also see who who is there and like I've made so many relationships with my audience online but meeting them in real life and seeing them and seeing who they are is really it's been really special yeah. Your trajectory and career path, your life, is just so fascinating because of the history, and mm -hmm. and I, and I don't want to harp on good. I don't want to harp all on good. on all those things, but obviously a wave of nostalgia hits when you do see people in the audience and then maybe hang out after after shows. What's been their response, and and what did they say to you? Um, I think people people seem to one be surprised by the the show itself um, I mean this is my first time ever doing this and I really wanted it to be a show that people would remember I mean with pop I think especially playing in smaller venues it can be hard to really bring production and production value and that's really important sorry that's really important to me um, so I think people have been surprised and people have been seeming so far to be stoked to hear some new stuff. I mean, there's a lot of new material in the show that has never been played before, um, which is always a risk, but so far, like, I think my audience, for a lot of us, I mean, so much has happened since I've ever been able to really do this, not not even mentioning Friday, but like coming out and being able to have this project, Rebecca Black was here and, and all of that. So there's a lot to celebrate I think as a community of just like, again, the people who are here are a really wonderful group of people and, and are, are not only here to celebrate the show, but like celebrate each other and, and be there for each other. So um, it's, been, it's been really a, a positive thing, hopefully for, for everyone who's, who's come. Yeah, and you released this project, you're doing these shows, you're headed off to Europe soon as well. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we're, again, hitting, getting hit with this wave of nostalgia because that lineup for when we were young was released, this alt-rock emo festival that's now taking place in Vegas. For sure. But I don't know if you've seen the lineup. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who hasn't? <laughs> it's Pops. crazy. I mean, it's fucking insane. Like, it's, <laughs> it's epic. Um, I, I do think that it's, we're hitting, like, an interesting part of the Internet where now we've had this collective like internet consciousness for uh, over a decade obviously several decades now and to be able to look back at who we were and what what we thought about things and how we feel differently or feel the same i think is it's interesting to be able for every inter interesting for everyone to be able to share those in a public space and kind of all collectively like look back at not only what happened, but like who we were, um, whether it's Friday or it's like all of these nostalgic moments that um, when you look at them in retrospect, they get kind of reframed. It's really it's yeah. interesting. And I think there's a lot of reckoning going on with Britney, mm -hmm. yourself, and mm -hmm. others that were bullied mm -hmm. by mainstream media online comments, personal lives, and, and all those things. Mm -hmm. Do you s feel a sense of vindication, uh, validation in a way? Vindication would be an intense word. And maybe I would have hoped that that's what I felt back when I was younger, is that one day I would like have this set. I know I did. I know I wanted to like prove people wrong when I was younger. But um, I mean, we've changed the way that we talk about things so much over the past 10 years. and. I think that is a lot for, for, for the best. And I 
when that change of tone started happening around Friday and around my own kind of the way people viewed me, um, I think there was some some validation in that, um, but it, it that validation wouldn't have never wouldn't have ever come if I didn't like really put attention on on the way I looked at myself and the way I viewed myself. And I spent a lot of my time over the past ten years in really deep like emotional work, trying to undo a lot of the thought processes that had developed after Friday and after dealing with so much not only like negative attention and bullying but just like uh, atten attention nobody should be in that position as a as a child and obviously it happens more and more now as everybody goes viral nowadays but um yeah i think that i think that really i i came to a point over the past couple of years where i really saw myself differently and I like started to believe in myself for the first time and and it I really appreciate seeing people have their own kind of reckoning with themselves and I think that's great for just society as a whole is yeah. to be able to look at again the way that you might see things differently now but um, yeah I think that there's still a lot of work to be done not not even just in my case but like at, in the way that we treat women in the way that we treat children and the way that we treat literally anybody because we feel like we have this sense of anon anonymity online. Has anyone come up to you directly to apologize in, in that sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've had a few people either reach out, whether it's in, in person or, or online, and, and say that they feel differently or wish that they would have said things differently. And um, I mean, I, I get it. Like, yeah. I, we all, we're all hopefully growing into a better better more cohesive understanding place right. but the evolution of being a human being quite frankly yeah. is what it is right yeah yeah and, yeah and especially in such like a public way that we're all in now well obviously you've done so much like i mentioned you released the collection material a few years ago you have this new ep with some bangers Thank uh, you. Uh, on there i love girlfriend uh, personal Thanks. i feel like this hyper pop sound is is fitting of you, but also I feel like you can do more. Uh, I'm, I'm going to let you know this from me. I feel like pick up that guitar and belt out these songs acoustic. Well, you'll have to hear what the new stuff sounds like. You know? <laughs> I, don't, I don't plan on staying in the same realm forever, that's for sure. Um, what is it about the hyper pop sound, uh, you know, acts like 100 Gex and, mm -hmm. and Dorian Electra, you know, Slater to an extent that really appeals to you? Mm -hmm. I mean, I I love so many different kinds of music, and I'm just a fan of it in general, obviously. But I think with with some of the choices that I've made for myself, um, this project, whether I knew it consciously or not, was really about not only this kind of like reintroduction to myself. Again, I don't think I knew that going into it, um, but looking back, it was a lot of choices made on like, okay, I'm gonna make a pop project, but I wanna make it a pop project that I think is really interesting and takes risks that I feel inclined to make and just follow the, the, the choices that feel the best for the song. And it wasn't about like, I'm gonna make a hyper pop project now, or like I'm gonna become a hyper pop girly or whatever the everyone wants to call me. It was just finally feeling free enough and and um, and control enough that I could do the things I wanted to do, and then see where that where that ended up. And I think that's what makes Rebecca Black was here is such a like filled with variety project. I've always been inspired by artists who are not afraid to put themselves into new places because they have something still to learn and still to explore and a part of themselves and what they want to say that they can still explore. Artists like Madonna, artists like Lady Gaga, Gwen Stefani in a lot of her choices, like those, Robin, um, those are, are people who I've just been really always inspired by like their, 
their ethos, you know, in, in the way that they approach their work. And knowing that, like, as long as they are trusting themselves and the people around them, that, like, the authenticity of it all or, like, the quality will will be there. And it'll, even if, even if people don't understand it, like, they are doing it for other people but also for themselves in, in a way that, like, I hope we're all living for ourselves and, and for this life that we hope that we can look back on when we're older and say, like, okay, I did it. Like, I did, the th I tried the things I wanted to do. I pushed myself in ways that I feel proud of. And, um, and a lot of people ask me why I still do this 10 years later. And, like, that's why. is because I, I would honestly hate myself if I let myself shy away from the life that I wanted to live as a kid. And, like, that child, like, version of myself I think about all the time and like what would she be proud of so you are an inspiration you really are and uh, like I mentioned earlier you are strong you are quite the example for how to live a life oh. because nothing is guaranteed yeah so do what you want to do yeah especially if you have the opportunity to do it and right so I feel really grateful and I'm, I'm really 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 lucky yeah you, you hinted at it should we expect something new, uh, a collection of something new in 2022? I sure damn hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I, I'm. I hate. I hate to jinx myself because I've done that many a times. But um, yeah, I've been working really hard on on things I'm really proud of. So new music this year. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> like I meant. Like I said earlier, the guitar. I'm, I'm ready for. It's in there. I'm ready for some shredding. It's in there. Some solo. It's in there. <laughs> I'll tell you, especially in the new stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I don't really, know if it's what you all expect, but. No, no. So. Hey, I'll, I'll take what Great. you give. So. Great. Uh, well, thanks so much for <laughs> you. your time. Great to meet you. You too. You too. Thanks for and having me. I look forward to the show tonight. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. She is uh, Rebecca Black, and you're watching B-Sides. <laughs>